Here is a Livestona Marie. Happens to be growing in my neighbor's yard in Vero Beach. And um, in reading about this palm, I've noticed that they, uh, one of the casual names is, uh, is red cabbage palm. And, and looking at pictures of this palm, uh, there seems to be a variability in its coloration. Um, and I know it's closely related to rigida, uh, but I don't know if that has anything to do with where I'm going with this, but these petioles are very green on this one, uh, and the emerging leaves are green as well. So I guess there's some variation in the um, in this particular palm in the Marie as far as the color of the um, petioles go, because there's some pictures I've seen of this with uh, rather red petioles. So this one happens to be green. Um, and if you know anything about that, because um, I'm by no means knowledgeable about this palm, I just know what I've read. Uh, so if you know anything, feel free to chime in. Uh, anyway, this is Livestona Marie. Uh, one of the other casual names is uh, Central Australian Cabbage Palm. Uh, and I'm pretty sure it's from the north central part of uh, Australia, but I don't know for certain. Um, I know it lives in an arid climate with a unique culture. Um, it has a shallow root system for for being in that arid environment, so I guess it has access to, to groundwater pretty much throughout the year. Uh, so anyway, Livestona Marie, Vero Beach, uh, growth rate on this has been pretty impressive as far as I'm concerned. I think it's been in the ground maybe four or five years as a 15 gallon, and it's about nine, maybe ten feet overall, so uh, it's probably doubled in size in about five years. So once again, Livestona Marie uh, doing well in Vero Beach.